Uh, ID Tech X show here with uh, Futaba. Hello, so who are you? Hi, my name's Terry Bassett. I'm the marketing manager for Futaba in North America. And what we're showing are plastic displays. Plastic, passive matrix displays. So this is uh, flexible, there's no glass, is uh, flexible, what is it, OLED? It is OLED display technology and it is plastic and you can bend it. So it has a capability of being able to be bent. And actually it's very thin, it's only about 0.25 millimeters thick. 0.25 millimeters, flexible, and you have all different kinds of shapes. What are we looking at here? Right here we're showing a color display, and this is a monochrome display. So there's color. So we're able to do monochrome and full color. But this is a very thin display, right? It uh, is. Small? Yeah. Very have thin. different size. Various sizes are commercially available as standard. Yeah. And we can also do custom display technology. So, so. how can you do the different sizes? Are there like there's no limits in kind of sizes? Or? Typically we like to stay under three inch diameter. And our resolutions go anywhere from about a hundred PPI up to about two hundred and fifty PPI. Is this something that's mass produced? It is. We've been in mass production with these parts since 2013. <laughs> and where can people find them? And there's some uh, mass produced uh, product, right? There's, there uh, are. Actually, the Huawei Top Fam was the first one to use our display. Nice. Recently, iFit has come out with a wearable as well using our display. Is it, is it powered? Can we try to show? Mm -hmm. oh. Four colors? Three colors? So this is uh, flexible for... Um, the step tracker kind of market. That's right. Then she goes it with heart rate monitor and stuff like that. It does. It has a heart rate monitor as well on this device. All right. Uh, so what else can you do? Can you do even bigger or are you rather not right now? Why can you not make it like a smartphone size? Uh, well, passive matrix technology generally tends to be a smaller technology based. And uh, we like to keep it within about a three inch diagonal. This one in particular is about 1.8 inches. So about twice this size. Twice the size is okay. So, is okay. So it could be a small smartphone maybe. It could be, but typically we're working with uh, smart watches, uh, wearable bands, anything that has a curved surface that you need some kind of visual indicator information. I'm thinking like a smartphone you could have a, a flexible uh, c case. You but, could. Uh, you could do a flexible I case. I have this case where I'd like the case to be an OLED over here. You can. You could, have a, you, you could have a sub display if you want on these cases. What's the battery consumption compared to like a different normal OLED or is it the same? Uh, so typically this small one would run about 30 milliwatts for, for uh, power consumption. These large color ones are much larger. Right, but this, is it similar to a normal AMOLED display? AMOLED? AMOLED, no. It's it's uh, different as far as power consumption. It's different. There's more. More power? Well, you know, size per size, it should be about the same, but typically AMOLEDs are much bigger. You know, you're talking about a five, six inch diagonal display. Yep. Since our displays are much smaller, our power consumption is smaller. All right, so uh, this is a... Uh, the company Futaba is Futaba. from, uh, from Japan? Futaba is a Japanese company, yes. And been doing this kind of stuff for uh, years? Well, actually, Futaba purchased TDK Technologies back in uh, 2012, and Futa uh, TDK had developed OLED technology. And um, once they purchased them, then we actually came out in mass production with the film technology. Right. And these are kind of like prototype demos? Uh, with the they are. So this would be our demos that we would show to customers, and then they develop it into these really great products. And the price is good for display? Prices are very comparable. So everybody should have one? Everybody, everybody should, have. should have one. And if you have any questions, please go to our website, which is www.futaba.com. How about having them embedded on clothing? You can put them in clothing as long as you protect them, as OLED technology doesn't like to be wet at all. Maybe like a module, you can easily snap it off, put it back on. You could, exactly. That's what the Huawei Top Band does. It's a module that pops out. So this could be washed, it could be whatever, you could charge this and then when you're ready you put it in.